Welcome one and all, the thrill and the chill of a winter's evening in England's far northeast. Newcastle United always passionately supported but down on their luck and in need of Premier League uplift. Manchester City with points to make up in pursuit they intend of an historic fourth straight Premier League title. Beyond Miley. Spread for Walker. He has time and space to deliver. Oh, it's a beautiful little flick from the magic Bernardo Silva. That is a joy. Right now they're staring down the barrel of a fourth consecutive Premier League defeat for the first time since January 2021. Kimmerich slung into the path here of Isak. Gordon supports him. It's Isak! That's a gem of a finish! What a smashing goal! And the contest is alive for Alexander Isak at the start of 2024. Isak won it. Burns there first. Gordon has green grass in front of him. St. James is believing again. champions have been used they tend to impose themselves and here is Kevin De Bruyne who has passed it in with sublime skill there's no one quite like him the Belgian has bounced off the bench and as bright as a button as if he'd never been away stroke City's equaliser and get back to within touching range at the top and here is Oscar Bob so neat that's so telling sumptuous from the young man and worthy of manic city celebration you suspected you always suspected they would know how even in the darkest moments of the day because they had De Bruyne to throw on and De Bruyne thrust his magic in front of every Geordie eye. David, thank you on a day so bleak and an inviting a prospect so sweet. For style without compromise, for creative identity, for unflinching self-expression, City Spurs would seem to be the game. Scampering out of trouble and Kulisevsky on the ball. Looking early for Son. And Son is on his way. Hyun-min has squeezed it in with Tottenham's first assault of the day. Well, said it's going to be fun and it's just begun. Well, Son Hyun-min, three Premier League games without a goal for uh, Ange Postecoglou. Stung in by Alvarez. Harlan didn't make contact, but it was deflected in. And City have parity in a trace. Son Hyun-min with the touch at once to equalise his own goal. Emerson Royal won back by Alvarez, in goes Guardiol and now Haaland. Jeremy Doku, Julian Alvarez, Phil Foden, 2-1 City. Deliciously intricate. Three touch goal. Take touch finish. That was a delight. This was a delight as well for a man who now has seven this season by Davis, touched on by Son Giovanni Lo Celso! smashing goal an immaculate hit and Spurs are level bang against the odds goals over successive weekends for Giovanni Lo Celso it was against City that with a goal and then ran into Rodri and he looks rampant and Haaland's on it and Grealish He was hungry for that, all right. Which follows each other's gospel. Johnson. Kulisevsky off! Three each in the 90th minute. Alderi Esfakari. They dared and they did. They insist on being themselves, the Tottenham Hotspur. What it is, another diamond that treats a gem of a Premier League football match.
There was no compromise, there was so much joy, there was so much mutual expression, understanding and appreciation, but it ends in a row, it ends in booze. And at this special time of year, the players unite again around an ongoing determination to rid sport and society of all racism. Just a nuisance in by McGinn all the way! The strangest of leads at the Stratford end. Onana nonplussed. Manchester United perplexed. And Bruno Fernandes clearly with a question to ask. With another corner. McGinn with depth. Long lay round the back. It's two. Den Duncan has applied the touch. And Aston Villa are having a dreamy boxing day at the Theatre of Dreams. For all. Old Trafford. Fernandes. Rashford and United via going up show at the Stratford end have an interest. Please, he begs, please don't take this one away. Garnacho denied one, desperate for one now. And he flicks it wide for Fernandez. Garnacho! He's dropped United back all by himself. It's the thrill of it, Argentine again. And this is how Old Trafford is meant to feel. It would mean the world if they turn this into a win. And Fernandez with the corner. And Hoyland! Dream fulfilled! And Manchester United from the depths hit the high at last, at long, long last, amid festivity. Rasmus Hoyland with a Premier League goal in front of a you just try wiping that smile off that Danish face. A night of thrilling Manchester United nostalgia. This is how it used to be. This is how Old Trafford can be. This is Manchester United who once upon a time were never beat. And tonight they remembered how it can be. Two down and going nowhere. Suddenly they feel as though they may be going places. Smiles at Old Trafford, the likes of which this year we have seen so rarely, if indeed at all. They have it. They smile again. David, thank you. He was magic, you know, Mauricio Pochettino. But now they're loving Big Ange instead. And this place simmers, charged, raucously edgy, once more around the complex, multi-layered, doggy dog plot that is forever Spurs Chelsea. Pass. Super Bowl for Sai, who has Kulusevsky wide, Son through the middle, Johnson getting forward, this is Dejan Kulusevsky, it's deflected in, and Spurs have scored in no time! Dejan Kulusevsky, penetrative and to the point! Sar. Space ahead of a doggy, Johnson wide of him, and Johnson rolls it in, and oh. Spurs scores! The flag is up. Oh, it was sensationally smooth. Raheem Sterling. Against Porro and Sterling's wriggled in again and scored for Chelsea. He has conjured space where there seemed none. Because he scores the goal, there you go. So Spurs fans are oh, Isaido pounced. It's Jackson, it's Sterling. Sterling's gone to ground, Romero partially out, Caicedo, Palmer. Oh! Terrific hit! Moises Caicedo! Chelsea all square! What a game this is! Well, he is offside. Right. Yeah, it's red. It's red. And Christian Romero walks. Come on! In off the post! Amid frenzy and fury! Seething Spurs, Chelsea are level. They're talking about a heel on it. And then he got a bit on Sterling. And this could be a problem. Two yellows. And now for Tottenham, two red. He's better from Chelsea. I think they're more likely to work in position doing this. There. James, Sterling's in here. Jackson's with him. Raheem Sterling. Jackson scores. At last. Finally, they crack the code. Chelsea laboured against nine. In the event, Spurs could not turn. Tied eternally. Nor amid all of this, could it be overlooked how important that is to Nicholas Jackson, who's got to have a crack. Ben Tenkour won the header. Oh, the header is fire! That is a gem! Oh, and the flag 
Jota. Now Gallagher going the other way. And Spurs exposed. And Nicholas Jackson seals the deal. 94 minutes. And eventually Chelsea are safe. An evening of chaos and carnage. That evening when Spurs on 2-3. Jackson's on a hat-trick here. And Jackson has Mujic for company. And Jackson keeps on going. And Jackson has three. Big, broad, setting all smile in the face of Spurs scouts. One of the more curious hat-tricks in the history of the Premier League. Scored against nine men. Night of unrelenting mayhem. And at the end of it all, as once he was before, Pochettino by hook or by crook. Crazily is the king of the Tottenham Castle again. Now in Chelsea colours. And Ange Postacoglu and Spurs are finally beaten for the first time. Chelsea have ransacked the palatial home of the hitherto invincibles but it was they themselves Tottenham who turned over their own furniture an evening in truth which has pushed back the boundaries of credulity as Chelsea emerged too I should just report to you that we had a most beautiful uh, moment absolutely spontaneous and unplanned a moment's applause for uh, Sir Bobby Charlton whose passing as Rebecca has been telling you during the interval has been uh, announced today and as you would expect for one universally admired it was the universally acknowledged partisanship is as nothing when a figure as great as him is being remembered sterling it's sterling's cross there are streams of handball proximity must be an issue chris Kavada, and it's a penalty palmer rolls it in for the blues sudden but uplifted is it beginning to happen for Chelsea? Snatched away by Gallagher. With Palmer through the middle. Sterling getting forward too. And now Mudrick. It's Mudrick's cross for Give it away to Rice! Now we've got a game! He pounced with poise! <laughs> Embarrassment for Sanchez, uplift for Arsenal! And Saka. Bakayo Saka! It was compelling, utterly compelling, through Chelsea eyes perhaps, the one that got away, but for Arsenal it is a point chiselled out in adversity which they may consider to be a hallmark of a would-be champion.